Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez. And I'm Lawyer Gary. Here's a look at the stories making headlines on this Wednesday. A report revealing new details about what happened just hours before Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez shot himself on I-75 in Tampa. Records show that Tampa police handcuffed Ramirez outside his hotel room at the JW Marriott last month. As they questioned him and his wife, officers were responding to a witness report that Ramirez pointed a gun to his head and threatened to end his life. His wife told authorities she did not remember if he pointed a gun at himself, then later said he never pulled out a firearm. Investigators determined Ramirez did not meet Baker Act criteria and released him. A Lauder Hill teacher arrested again, accused of inappropriately touching a student. 45 year old Damian Francis was a teacher at the Endeavor Elementary School in Lauder Hill. Police say Francis had been touching his first grade student in class. Francis, who has faced similar allegations before, appeared before a judge in bond court today. He's being released on his own recognizance and has been ordered to have no contact with the latest victim or any other minors. Plantation police made a big arrest today after a person was caught stealing mail. Our cameras captured police combing through tons of mail. Investigators say the suspected thief was driving a U-Haul truck and visited numerous mailboxes along Northwest 94th Avenue and 15th Street. Officers found more than 200 pieces of mail, including some packages. Postal inspectors are working to determine if this theft is connected to another case out of Sunrise. The suspect is now facing federal charges. And a family in mourning. They're mourning the loss of a 67-year-old woman who was one of three victims. Police say was hit by a driver in Miami Gardens. Patricia Garner was in the parking lot off Northwest 25th Avenue when a driver struck her and her son last Thursday. Unfortunately, her two grandchildren witnessed the whole thing. Garner was airlifted to the hospital. and She sadly died after being taken off life support Sunday. Sharon Leona Cox was arrested for the hit and run. It's not clear if she'll be facing new charges after Garner's death. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates. Have a good night.